fun. <laughs> <clears throat> Hi everyone, welcome back to Melody Crochet Nook. Um, I'm excited because I am finally here and we're all finally well and I can show you what is inside this box. I did um, a Premier yarn haul. Uh, it was my first order that I've placed with Premier. I've gotten some of their yarns at different places that are local that I can pick it up, but I've never placed an online order. Um, it's kind of a bigger haul for me anyway. Um, so let's get into it. So welcome back to Melody Crochet Nook. My name is Beth and thank you for joining me today. Um, if this is your first time joining my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Um, so we are doing a haul video today, but typically I will go over different projects that I'm working on and things like that and kind of just do a little I don't know what's been going on in my life type of a video so if you like those kinds of videos go ahead and um like and subscribe I would really appreciate that and um let me know down below if you've ever um ordered placed an order from Premiere and what your favorite online retailer of yarn is, I would um, really be interested in hearing just what places you buy yarn um, and learning new things. So first, <laughs> I did already use some of this yarn because um, I had two commissions or a commission for two bunnies and I ran out of yarn. Um, I showed you uh, these little bunny heads and this is in this is Bernat blanket um, in the color sand and I cannot find that yarn anywhere anymore so I had to find a replacement so that's why I ended up placing the order on Premiere and the replacement I got is this color sand and it does not match the Bernat blanket sand and I got this one too just in case this was a closer match and this is in the color caramel but it doesn't match that one either so that's okay I got the bunnies done and shipped off to um, their new home so I'm really excited for them to get it um, so I ended up ordering four of these. I used two skeins plus some, um, and then some white for the bunny. And yeah, I think they turned out really well. And all of these are actually the Premier Basics Chenille. Most of them are the brights, but I do have some others that were on clearance and I'm kind of well, really excited to use those as well. So um, I got four of these. Um, this is the color caramel. And I bought some fun colors too. And this feels a lot like Bernat Blanket. Um, and it doesn't shed like the Parfait Chunky does. And so that's what I like about it. It sheds a little bit, but not as crazy as the chenille yarns. Um, so I do, I really like this brand and how it works up and it's really soft. It is comparable to, um, the baby blanket, but not as quite as soft as the softest of the baby Bernat blanket. <laughs> if that makes sense at all. But, um, so yeah, this is in the color Caribbean. And then I got one in the color Navy. One in the color Hibiscus. Look at these, Caribbean and Hibiscus together. It's really pretty. Um, and then this is Orchid. And 
This is emerald. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these yet, but uh, we'll just see what happens. Um, maybe I'll make some ducks out of them or um, some other fun things. I really haven't decided what I'm going to do. And then this is a bag of three and it's the snow cone light chanel um and this is in the color mango and it's really pretty it's it's like a coral coralish kind of color um or light peach yeah and this is super bulky six which is the same as this i feel like this is a little fluffier uh, but when it works up, it probably works up just the same as the chenille uh, brights. And then the last thing I got was another color of the snow cone uh, light chenille. And this one is in the color <laughs> lychee. Leche. I know I'm not pronouncing that right. But it's that fruit, the lychee le color. <laughs> So that is my premier yarn haul that I placed. Um, and unfortunately, I sent off the bunnies before I could make this video because we've all been sick. <laughs> we finally are almost all better. The kids got it and I got it. Um, but my son was the last one to get it. So he is like on, right there on the end tail of of it all so we're almost done and I'm very thankful um it was just this head thing I don't know it was just a lot of congestion and stuff so um but I am I am excited for these colors um to make something fun I really don't know still what I'll do, um, but it will be fun for sure. Okay, so the verses is James 1 verses 2 through 2 through 7. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man and stable in all of his ways. And the parts of the verse, um, that section that really stood out to me was counted all joy when you fall into various trials. Um, and sure, this is just such a small trial, trivial thing. Um, but the other day at work, I had read this uh, right before I left for work. And then the first phone call that I received was one, it was some guy who was very adamant in making me feel horrible. Making me feel guilty for not helping in a certain area and just twisting scripture at me and um, just saying I wasn't doing the work of the Lord and all kinds of things. But um, anyway, once we got passed through that, I was reminded of the scripture that I read for the day and how God uses every little situation to grow you, to challenge you, to get you right with the Lord. Not that I wasn't right with the Lord, but we all have like little fine tunings um, that 
we can work on in ourselves and um, with the Lord. So it was just a good reminder that I'm going to read it again because it's really good. <laughs> My brother, and count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. And if you do lack wisdom, um, well, this says, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally, and without reproach, and it will be given to him. And in those situations where I'm feeling just uneasy <laughs> about a situation, like the Lord gives you wisdom, the Lord gives you direction, and taking that past the initial conversation with this person, and then going back and evaluating, okay, Lord, is there any truth to what he was saying? And if so, give me wisdom. So first, give me wisdom to speak with this person. And then two, give me wisdom if there's any truth in it. Is there anything that I need to change in my own heart? Or is it just a spiritual battle? Um there's all kinds of different things that it could have been. And I don't even know. I just know that it was a trial and the Lord spoke to me through it. He allows me to grow through those challenging situations. I mean, this was a full like 20, 30 minute conversation. Um, and then him cursing me out and all of that. So, um, anyway, okay. So that being said, if, any of it, uh, any of the scriptures or my story spoke to you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for each one of you that if you're going through challenging trials and situations, that these verses would speak to you, that you would allow the Lord to give you wisdom, asking him and that he would lead you and guide you into the conversations that you're having and in within the trials that you would be growing in him, um, learning from them and um, just building up your patience and all and all that. So, okay, well, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a very good day. If you have any prayer requests, all of my contact information is in the description box. So go ahead and reach out and I'd be happy to talk with you. All right. I will talk to you later. And until next time, have a great week. Bye.